Shabbat Shalom, beloved. It's a word. I titled this Dead Garden, Living Garden. I was given an epiphany today. I was thinking about there was a movie. It's an old movie called The Secret Garden. And once upon a time, you could tell in this movie that this garden had flourished, but through ages of neglect and forgetfulness, it looked dead. And in the movie, this little girl, she came along, she crept into the garden, and she started pulling away the weeds. She started cutting away the dead portions, and... She wasn't supposed to be in the garden. The garden was left to just die. She also had a cousin in this house in the movie. The cousin, he was left in his room. He wasn't supposed to be in the sunshine. He was told he couldn't walk. He couldn't play. He couldn't do anything. But this one little girl came along and she would cut away and work on the garden. And the caretaker came upon the garden one day and he saw it begin to grow. And she snuck the little boy who was in a wheelchair, her cousin, out to the same said garden. And when they were there, she told him if he didn't get up and try to stand, she would leave him in that garden. He told her he couldn't stand. He was probably going to die. He wasn't supposed to be out in the sunshine. Long story short, he did stand. And eventually he began to walk. And as they cleaned up the hidden garden, that secret garden, it began to flourish and grow. When you look at the Bible story of Yeshua, his death and resurrection, he was mistaken as the gardener by Mary when she came to what would be a tomb or a cemetery, a place where dead things were left. But there was life in that garden. The gardener, the man she thought was the gardener, was Yeshua HaMashiach. Many of us are like that secret garden. We have people around us. They don't want you in the sunshine. They don't want you to walk in your purpose. They don't want you to run in your purpose. And all the beauty, all the potential in the garden of you, they've locked it away and hidden it. But the gardener is standing at the door of your secret garden. He's taking away the dead things. He's clearing out the weeds. Some of the weeds are the negative attitudes. Some of the weeds are people who have neglected you. Some of the weeds are people who are takers. Some of us have been around people like the little boy in the movie The Secret Garden. His governess and the doctor were supposed to be helping him. But the governess just wanted power. And the doctor, as long as he kept this boy in a state of supposed sickness, the doctor could make money off of the boy's father. And it took the eyes of a child, it took the truth coming in to look at him. It didn't matter how long they had him in that room with no sunlight. It didn't matter how long he had been in a wheelchair. The truth in the eyes of that little girl helped him walk, helped him stand, helped his father even see who he was. The truth of that little girl, when she went into what was a dead garden, she brought life to it. No matter how long something lies dormant in you, that does not mean it will not grow. There are seeds in this season of drought that we're in. And some of us gardens, they just won't grow because they haven't been supported. They haven't been watered with love and care and concern. Some of us are in marriages where our spouses, our partners have drained us. They've manipulated through sickness. They've manipulated through lies. 
to take the very essence away from you and keep you out of the sunshine. Because instead of supporting and recognizing the beauty of life, they want to hide life. But the moment that the gardener walks in, whether the gardener is the heart of a child, whether the gardener is the heart of a friend, whether the gardener is somebody that has true love for you, true affection, they're not a taker, they're a giver. They're not looking with a limited eye of lack. They're recognizing the abundance of what can be. That garden in you that seems so overgrown and dried and neglected will still bring forth life, beautiful life. And it takes the eye of the gardener, the eye of love, the eye of truth, the eye of caring to see it. No matter how long a seed lies dormant, if the rainwater hits it, it's going to grow. And today you need that love, not discouragement, not the takers, not, oh, it ain't never going to change. It's always been this way. Well, that secret garden lied dormant for over 12 years. It was just, uh, it looked dead. But any time you can go to the garden where they lay Yeshua HaMashiach and the angel said it best, why are you looking for the dead amongst the living? Why are you looking for the living amongst the dead? Coming to a place where the eye, that carnal eye will make you believe this is where things go to die and be buried. No, but the seed of God, when you put it in the ground, when you throw dirt on it, and that water from above rains down, you're going to get something beautiful and shocking. And in your garden today, that dead garden is the living garden of you. Remember, just like in that movie, The Secret Garden, there was a secret garden that Yeshua HaMashiach was at. They, Mary thought she was at the tomb, but she was at a secret garden. You are that secret garden where life comes. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how long it's been going on. If you ever saw the movie, The Secret Garden, there are some people in your life that want to keep you down, like the governess with the little boy in the movie or the doctor. But God's sending in a gardener, a gardener in your spirit, a gardener in your mind, a gardener in your faith, a gardener to lift you up, a gardener to make you believe, a gardener that knows the truth, that that seed will never die. It's dormant, but it's not dead. And that reign of truth, that reign of the word of faith, that reign of encouragement, that reign of don't give up, that reign of you can feel bad tomorrow, but today, let's give it some hope. We're going to anchor you in something strong and let you see the blooms that come. It's not too late. It's still possible. We're going to remove the weeds of negativity. And people who don't believe because they don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you grow. They want to use you for what they want to use you for. But the gardener is standing at the door of you. He's in the secret garden of you today. And we're going to give Yeshua HaMashiach all the praise that we can while thanking Yahuwah who has sent his word. We are giving praise for Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of life that came from Yahuwah. We are thanking, praising, honoring, and glorifying him that he is standing at the door of the secret garden of you. And his Holy Spirit is raining down living waters, bringing forth shocking results in your life that is not too late. It's not too late. This is a word of encouragement, beloved. 
This is to let you know the gardener is in your secret garden. He has taken the one that has been in a wheelchair and been crippled by negativity, been crippled by people holding you down. He's brought you into the sunlight, making you stand, helping you stand, and letting you walk in the truth of his power, his glory. And he wants you to live and not die. And you, my love, this is the season of your bloom. And nobody can stop it. It is word, beloved. Shabbat shalom.